Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about evaluating limits, and we're going to evaluate each limit. So, if I was given this limit, the limit, as x approaches to a uh, x to the third minus x squared minus 4, okay? Well, the limit as x approaches to of this polynomial of x to the third minus x squared minus 4 well, since it is a polynomial, we can directly substitute 2 in a form x there at that value, okay? So the limit is going to equal the, when we plug it into the equation there, or function, really, okay? If it was a function, if I wrote it as a function, right? So since, since we can do that, okay, we plug 2 in, so we have 2 to the third power minus 2 squared minus 4, and then from there, Okay, we need to simplify. Well, 2 squared, is, or two, not 2 squared, 2 to the third power is 8, right? Minus 2 squared is 4, minus 4, okay? 8 minus 4, all right, be careful here. 8 minus 4 is 4 minus 4, which is a 0, okay? So our final answer here, this limit approaches 0, right? The limit as x approaches 2 is equal to so let's recap. We're taking a limit as x approaches 2 of x to the third minus x squared minus 4. Again, we have a polynomial. So when we have a polynomial, all right, we can plug it in wherever it exists, which it exists here. Really, I have 2, right? It does exist, all right? The domain is all real numbers here. <clears throat> so we plug 2 in for x, for both x's, and we have 2 to the third minus 2 squared minus 4. We simplify that. 2 to the third is 8. 2 to the second power is 4, and then 4 comes down. 8 minus 4 is 4, and then 4 minus 4, bringing that 4 down as 0. So again, this limit is equal to 0.